if you need usage analytics for your website and you don't want to go down the Google Analytics route, I suggest looking at Plausible Analytics. It is quite a bit pared down from what you might get in Google Analytics, but you should also look at everything that Google Analytics has and really ask yourself, do you need all that? Plus, probably even more important, do you want to have control over the actual data that you're collecting? They offer managed hosting options, which start at around $6 per month, which is pretty good. And they also have the ability to do self-hosting. So if you wanted to get a $5 digital ocean droplet, or if you want to get maybe even a cheaper Hetzner server, you could self-host Plausible on your own servers with little effort. Though since I love Plausible so much, I would strongly consider looking at their managed hosting plans and see if one of those works for you. And if not, if you really do want to host this on your own server, then please consider going to their GitHub page and sponsoring them. They have a lower tier option to sponsor them for about $5 a month. I think it would be worth it to help these guys grow and expand what they're doing as they are a great alternative to Google Analytics. And again, you get to keep your own data. All right, now let's go ahead and see what it takes to add Plausible to your own self-hosted server using Cleaver. It's pretty easy to get going with Plausible on your own server. The first thing that you would do is create a server. I have one set up here called Plausible Server. And from here, go to the services section. What we're going to do here is install the Docker service. Since they have everything wrapped up into a Docker container, basically all we need to do is install Docker on our server. Well, it looks like Docker finished installing on the server. So what we're going to do from here is go into the site section and we're going to add a new site because we want to expose a front facing URL to be able to access our plausible analytics from. So I'm going to click on add site and then for app type, we're going to use the generic port app. And then for domain, I already have one set up. It's analytics.cleaver.cloud. So I'm going to use this and apply SSL to it. For the port number right here, the default's running on port 8000. You can customize this if you want, but if the default works, just go with that. And then we're going to add this new generic port app. Okay, cool. So the new app has been added. From here, let's go to the quick script section. And I've already created a quick script to install Plausible on a server and then to start it. Let's look at that script I created. Let's go ahead and edit this. And let me just give you an overview of the script right here. What this basically does is we're going to go into the home cleaver folder, which is a standard folder for adding sites. And then we're going to make a new directory called plausible and then go into that. And then we're just going to clone the project right here. And once that clones to your server, we're going to go into the hosting folder. And then for the plausible environment, it asks you to create a private key. So this is going to generate that private key. And then later on, we could see that's going to add it to this plausible config file. And then also with this file, other things that we need to add is a user email, a user name, a password, and also that base URL, which is the URL that we set up when creating that generic port app. In my case, it was analytics.cleaver.cloud. And so this is the gist of the script. And of course, at the end, we'll Docker Compose up. This script is available on the Quick Script section of GitHub. So I'll link to that within this video. And then once you have all that set up, you'll run it. So I'll click on run now and I'm going to target this plausible server and then let's run it as the cleaver user. And then I'm going to add an email, adam at cleaver.io and an admin username. Let's just go with a Meetima. And then for a password, I'll just put in password, make it nice and simple for this test. I encourage you to use a stronger password, obviously. And base URL, you do need to include the HTTP, HTTPS, analytics, cleaver.cloud and then click on run okay it finished running and it gave me an error i kind of expect a false error to show up on this uh, but let's make sure that it actually aired out or if it's actually working so to do that we're going to go to that site i created analytics.cleaver.cloud let's open this Okay, I see the login screen right here. So it did install on the server. Let's test out the credentials that we added and make sure we could actually log into the admin panel. Okay, Adam at cleaver.io and my super secure password being password. Awesome, now I can see that plausible is running on my server. Now from here, 
it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is add a new website. You're going to put in your URL for your website, your time zone, and then the next screen is going to give you the JavaScript snippet to add into your website so you can start pulling the data. And that's all you need to do to get plausible running on your own server.